Hello everyone, Yuki from Entopology, and today we're going to take a look at a putter. We're going to take a generic putter, isolate the putter's head, and see how we can do some optimization to make it a lightweight and aesthetically pleasing putter while maintaining its key features. Let's take a look at this lightweight golf putter and a workflow of how we got here. So over on the left, you'll find the notebook and you'll see a lot of sections labeled by the different areas of the putter. We worked on the putter's face, cavity, and the sole. Let's take a look at our first section over here, so the face. From our original CAD import of our golf putter, I isolated the face from the putter and then I took the face from this because I want the surface texturing on this area. Now using that face, I created a conformal lattice on that area and I can start looking at different surface texturing by changing up the unit types. I can also very quickly change up the lattice divisions by changing a couple of values. Now I also do want to add in my logo, so I placed it where I wanted on my face, then I used a ramp block to remove the lattice where my logo stands. Then lastly, I thicken my lattice and boolean subtracted from the implicit body of the putter face to create the texturing on my face. And I even also created a custom block where rather than creating that entire workflow, I can condense it into this one single block and only change the important inputs I need to use to create different surface texturing on my face. Moving on to the putter cavity. So the idea here is to lightweight the cavity using some latticing. Same idea as the putter face, I isolated the cavity from the original putter and converted it to an implicit body, which is Entopology's native format, so I have complete control over our geometry. So I section cut the cavity using a box. So wherever this box intersects with this cavity, it will create that area where I want to lattice. This is where I added this right and left slider because if there's an area where I want more latticing, I can simply drag this arrow left or right to add or remove latticing in that area. And with the GPU acceleration turned on, which you can find under settings at the top left, you can visually see it happen in real time. And now with this, you can control your CG of your putter by simply adding more material on one side or removing material from the other in helping you create a more balanced putter. Now with our unit cell selected, in this case we are using gyro, which you can also change using the drop down menu, we can then boolean union the lattice together and add a rounding where your lattice meets the solid cavity to strengthen that connection. And with that said, we now have our finished cavity. Moving to our last area, the putter sole. With a similar mindset when we were working with the cavity, we also want to apply that same thing to the sole. Now isolating it from the original cab body and converting it to an implicit body, I took two planes this time, placed one on both sides of the sole, and now using these planes, I can cut both sides of the sole and use the slider to move that plane to control the area where I want to lattice. I can then take that area, offset it, and translate that body out, then use that to remove material from the sole to create that opening where I can fill it with some lattice to create our final sole. Now, if needed, we can always go back and change the lattice type, or maybe even move the slider to add or remove material on either side to help control the CG of the putter, which is really nice because now we have two ways of controlling the CG, one from the cavity and one from the sole. And you can do this all while having the putter turned on because with the GPU acceleration turned on, it will update that design right away when any changes are made. Now with the putter face, cavity, and sole all complete and optimized, we can then boolean union all together to create our new putter head. Then we can mesh and export our optimized part to manufacture. So we made a really cool putter, but why would you want to do this? It's lighter, cost efficient, balanced, and strong. So the many various features applied to the putter head can also be applied to the other areas of the putter, such as the grip, maybe add some surface texturing there. Uh, you can fill in the shaft with some latticing, or you can apply the similar principles we did to the putter to other golf clubs, such as the iron and the driver. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and improve your putting game on the green with Anthropology. Don't forget to download the file and take a look at the workflow of how we created this putter. Change up a couple of inputs and see how fast it updates. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's video on the golf putter and want to learn more, set up a demo at entopology.com. Get a demo and simply fill out the form to speak to an Entop expert. If you're already an existing user and want to dig deeper, check out support.entopology.com and use the search bar to ask your questions. Thank you.